Even though we may be out of the peak wet season for 2012, that is the summer months and spring, uh, still we are concerned about river levels. And uh, new information coming out about the Mississippi River, which is now in many locations approaching near record lows. Uh, this is in the areas around St. Louis, showing the, uh, well, near trickle in some areas around St. Louis, some of the backwaters. And we take you down to where the river levels continue to drop. And you can see at one point, some of those docks extending way out to probably some boats. Well, there is a solid 9, 10 feet or more, probably 15 feet actually of shoreline re-exposed and just getting worse day by day. Now, this ongoing drought that we're under has already put restrictions on barges that do ship from, let's say, Minneapolis and St. Paul all the way down to New Orleans. They have to carry less weight because they can't go down with that heavy weight into some of these channels that are now so much shallower. Uh, so they have to be able to clear those channels. Now, because of the drop in the water levels, already buoy markers that are usually channel guides for some of these uh, big barges, Look at that, just sitting on the shoreline. Yeah, you can see all the wire still sitting there that once allowed this buoy to float up along the water surface. That's how much that Mississippi River has dropped. Now, here's a little bit of the uh, stats here. We'll look at the Mississippi River at St. Louis. Uh, this data from NOAA showing that the current level coming in around uh, 0 0.6, negative 0 0.6 feet. Now, the all-time record lows for this uh, point at St. Louis, negative 6.10. That was set back in 1940, negative 5.7 set back in 1963. Now, again, that's below sea level. So sea level will be about zero, and now the river is a little under sea level thanks to the dredging, of course. Uh, it has a lower bottom. This is the Mississippi River at New Orleans. To approach a record, they'll have to drop to about negative 1.2. They will approach two and two and a half feet here within the next couple of days. Unfortunately, the river could start to drop even faster. By the end of December, the Corps of Engineers is expected to drop uh, the uh, water releases from the Missouri River in Yankton. Uh, that will drop the Mississippi River because 78 percent of the Mississippi's water this year is coming from Missouri. This is going to have an impact on shipping of grains, gasoline, and oil. Could be job losses as well. It's a story that only can be cured by rain. Stay with us.